Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we will be doing the detailed camera review of the Samsung Galaxy A73 5G. So Samsung Galaxy A73 5G offers slightly better hardware and features compared to the Samsung Galaxy A53 which we reviewed recently. Now this device comes with a 108 megapixel uh, quad camera setup and this is the first time Samsung is using the uh, 108 megapixel sensor outside the S series smartphones. So in this video we will be looking at the camera samples, how good the quality is and how good the performance is for this price segment. So before getting into the video, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's first have a look at the camera hardware. So the Samsung Galaxy A73 comes with a 108 megapixel primary sensor which is a Samsung sensor and this is the first time Samsung is using the 108 megapixel sensor on an ACD smartphone and it also supports optical image stabilization. It has f1.8 aperture. There is a secondary 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a third 5 megapixel macro sensor and a fourth 5 megapixel depth sensor. So the Samsung Galaxy A73 5G skips the telephoto lens. For selfies, we have a 32 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture. So let's see how the camera performance is for this segment. In terms of daylight conditions, this Galaxy A73 delivers great images which are sharp and detailed. The colors are also done well and there is no saturation issues. They are bright and vivid and at the same time, colors look pretty good and they are mostly natural. The sharpness levels are good and this is evident when you pixel peep. The dynamic range is also good. Overall, we like the quality of the daylight shots and probably one of the good smartphones in this price segment offering good overall quality. The phone also comes with 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and here also it produces similar results and colors are more or less consistent even when you switch the lenses. The overall detailing and quality of the ultra wide angle shots looks good. They are usable and does a pretty good job overall. Moving on to the close up images, the Galaxy A73 impresses with good details and colors. The sharpness levels are good and the colors are once again reproduced well and they look natural. There is also a dedicated macro sensor which is 5 megapixel camera and it produces some really good macros and colors are once again good offering good sharpness levels too. Now moving on to the portraits and here again the A73 has a decent looking portraits. The details are good and so are the skin tones. The sharpness levels are also good but for some reason the HD detection is not as good as the A53. This definitely needs a bit more improvement. Next up the low light captures. In indoor lighting and in artificial light it does a good job with details and noise is kept to minimal. When you switch to night mode you get clean images which are devoid of any noise and thanks to the optical image stabilization available for the camera you get good images. The low light performance is good for this segment. There is a bit of over sharpening notice in some images but overall not a major issue though. Next up the selfie camera. Here also you get good selfies with the 32 megapixel shooter. The skin tones are good and the sharpness levels are also pretty impressive. There is good dynamic range too. You also get the wide angle selfie or group selfie feature which you can toggle from the camera interface. The phone also comes with portrait mode for selfies and the edge detection seems overall good. Moreover selfies are personal choice so judge based on the images shown. Overall we like the selfie quality of the camera. Now moving on to the video recording, the phone can shoot videos in 4K 30fps and here you get stabilization and the footage is quite good and details are impressive. The sharpness levels and colors are also pretty impressive for this segment. The 1080p at 60fps footage also looks good with good details and sharpness levels. The colors are once again natural looking. The phone also comes with 1080p at 30fps and once again the quality looks pretty impressive. The ultra wide angle camera can also take videos in 1080p as well as 4K resolution in 30fps 
with stabilization and it works quite well. There is also super slow motion and the regular slow motion included for the Samsung Galaxy A73 and it looks quite okay. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with the Samsung Galaxy A73 5G. So it can record videos in uh, 1080p as well as 4K resolution. Uh, the 1080p is also supports uh, 60 FPS which is pretty good. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output. So this is the full HD resolution uh, sample taken using the front camera on the Samsung Galaxy A73. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the videos and also the audio output. So that is the camera review of the Samsung Galaxy A73 5G. So looking at the images, we have a good camera setup in the Galaxy A73 and it works pretty well. There is hardly anything to complain in the Galaxy A73 in terms of camera performance and probably the portraits could be better and there is a downgrade from 8 megapixel telephoto in the previous generation A72. The camera on the A73 works pretty well in almost all cases and it is truly a versatile camera at this price segment with good overall quality. So that was the detailed camera review of the Samsung Galaxy A73 5G. So what do you guys think about the Galaxy A73 as a camera smartphone? Do share in your thoughts in the comment section. This is Nirmal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.